I'm Carl Anthony with AutoSense TV, and we're here at AutoSense Detroit 2019 at the Michigan Science Center. Over 450 delegates, and one of our returning ones, Chris Demeester, Vice President of Sales and Business Development for Xenomatics. Chris, it's good to see you and get caught up again. Yeah, I'm very happy to be here again. Yeah, I like the show. So we've seen you in Brussels and we saw you in Detroit last year, but the rate at which you grow and progress as a company, there's always exciting news. So let's, let's start there. Tell us what's new with Xenomatics. Well, first of all, uh, we have now uh, industrial investors since last year. So we're growing like most of the lighter companies are doing, but they are successful. Um, we also started a new software team since a year that are using our lighter data or point cloud data to do application programming, like object detection, free space detection, which is not so easy on point cloud. So we do it on point cloud. As you know, we also have the 2D image, but we are focusing on a point cloud and the customer can use his own algorithms on the 2D point cloud. And we have a unit that we are selling now. So I have a real true solid state. That's the main difference with any other MEMS or other technology. It's true solid state and it's available since September last year. So I'm very excited about that. So how did this come about? You have a new software team. What inspired you to create that software team and move forward with that? It was actually the reflection of some of the customers that were using it and that were saying that the point cloud is really dense and that it's, they needed to change the algorithm compared to scanning uh, point clouds. Uh, but it made it easier. They had to make some changes, but they could get more out of it. No time correction to be doing. And then we wanted to know how good is it. So that's why we started just to do some program ourselves and see what is our point cloud different and how can we work on it. Sure. Uh, and we are very happy we did it and we decided strategically to keep on doing our software development so we can offer that to the customers. One of the things we've talked about in the past, Chris, particularly with your product line at Xenomatics, is range and accuracy. So tell us a little bit about range and accuracy and why that's important. Well, range is very important for the LiDAR since it's filling the gap between the camera and the uh, radar. So range is important. We've proven that already two years and a half ago. That was with our prototype that the 200 meter we reach. Uh, 200 meter at 20% reflectivity. Uh, on our roadmap, we are prepared for 250 meter at 10% reflectivity. But uh, of course, we need to do some work uh, on that. Sure. Accuracy is also important. We have the philosophy, the closer you come, the more accurate it should become. Uh, and that's what we uh, perform and achieve. So talk to me then, Chris, about the future going forward. You have this group of investors, you have a software team. So where do you see all this going in the next few years then? Well, we position ourselves as a tier two. We've always said so. We don't have the time to become a tier one. Uh, but we partner up. And today we have already two partners. It's not officially announced, but it will. The third is coming up. Uh, and with those partners, we make it uh, we doing project. We're answering RFQs to get in the serial car. And that's uh, the progress we're working on now. So the easy, the easy thing is that today, what we have uh, off the shelf is the modular design. Sure. So we can very easily, easily uh, combine two models and get fully specs of the customer, or so we can customize in a fast way, faster market. So you talk about quicker to market customization for your customers as a tier two supplier. What are some of the challenges that they face? What are some of the pain points that they have that you are addressing as Xenomatics? Well, First point, and, and there we are completely different from, I would say, anybody else, is that it's true solid state and that the components are trustworthy. So the OEMs we talk to, uh, we will eventually sell through tier ones, but we sell now through OEMs. Uh, we have no difficulty to, to convince them that it's a trustworthy technology because it's already existing. It's a new design, but it's stable and good technology, reliable. So that is and the true solid state part of it. Uh, makes a big difference. One of the things I always find interesting, Chris, is the history of Xenomatics, started by a technical entrepreneur, so tell us a little bit about that. So we were, the idea what came up in 2012, when the rotating LiDAR came out and everybody was excited, but there were two main requests, please make it robust, so it will survive in a car for 10, 15, 20 years, so solid state, please make it smaller, and uh, please make it low cost. And the, uh, the idea that a professor and entrepreneur had is really 
um, answering those questions. It's based on chip technology, no moving parts. So in mass production, the low cost we will achieve. That's that's something I'm very sure of. And, and it is, after all, in automotive, a very important factor. Chris, at your display here at AutoSense, you have a screen, you have a, uh, some things that you're showing attendees. Tell us about that a little bit. Well, it's uh, the, the, the new things. We're always excited in AutoSense to show new things. Uh, the software team, uh, what they have accomplished in a very short time is very exciting, and that's what we're showing on the screen. And of course, I have a sample with me uh, of what, what we're selling since September 2018, so it's there, it's readily available. And then, Chris, and I know we kind of covered this so far, but in general, the automotive market as it concerns LiDAR and autonomous driving, uh, what do you see, where do you see that going in the next, say, 10 years? I mean, is this technology, is this going to make a difference, the technology that you have? LiDAR technology is uh, really going to make a difference. We heard it in the presentations also in the conference, like a couple of years in Brussels when we started, the discussion was, is LiDAR needed? Nowadays, everybody except one person is convinced that LiDAR indeed is needed. Uh, to get acquainted to the technology, the OMs are starting to picking it up for level two, level three, uh, because they need it definitely for level four. Maybe not at this time for level two, level three, but they cannot uh, wait until they really need it and then start uh, looking at all, all the, the features they, they require. Chris, again, Xenomatics, very diverse company, very strong company. I want to make sure that we've covered everything. So any final thoughts to add, anything that I may have missed that's still important for our viewers to know about Xenomatics? Well, the main thing is that we emphasize now on our uh, tagline that it's true solid state lighter because they're in total like almost 80 pump companies popping up. There's a big chunk of money there, so everyone wants a part of it. So we distinguish uh, in, in that part. Uh, and I think that that's important for the people uh, to know. Chris, from all of us here at AutoSense, I want to thank you for being back, and it's good to see you again. We want to wish you safe travels home from Detroit. We'll look forward to seeing you in Brussels. Thank you, Carl. I enjoy it. Thank you. Speaking today with Chris Demeester, the Vice President of Sales and Business Development for Xenomatics. For more AutoSense, like, subscribe, and share.